Okay, I'm sitting here with John Mulvin, an old friend I just bumped into. John, where are you working now? I joined Siemens in February as their digitalization lead. And how's that going? Absolutely fantastic. I, it's an amazing company to work yeah. for. And one that I would have known pretty well, like a lot of people before, you've seen the brand around an awful lot. Yeah. But actually, I didn't have as good an understanding until I got in there, just the sheer breadth of activity that we have within the company and just its long history. And what would you hope to find from the show today? Well, I'm speaking on stage at, uh, in about 20 minutes, I yes. think, um, talking about smart factories and um, food manufacturing and actually how technology, and not even technology, how data can help yes. to transform organizations. And do you think that will also transform food and how we traditionally package food, present food? I think more so in terms of, I saw the celiac stand is here, for example. Yes. Formulations is a really interesting yes. um, standard that we have now in terms of so many, there's so many, yeah. you know, we have to be much more transparent around traceability of food, much more transparent around ingredients yeah. and formula you know, formulations of food uh, bespoke to different markets. So that's obviously something that we can help with, but more so in terms of efficiency within within organizations yes. and their manufacturing. So obviously food waste is a huge problem. Yeah. Um, a lot of that has can come down to really good scheduling. Again, the kind of projects that we work with companies right, on. And, and a lot of the time they have the data already, but just not that computational power really and those algorithms that yeah. we have spent years so developing. really as the food sector and food manufacturing becomes a lot more digital and more smarter, there's big huge opportunities. Yeah, and what we want to do is not really talk about the technology but get to that real conversation, the Siemens conversation is more around what is it you are trying to achieve for your yes. organization? Yes. Where are your pain points? And let's just talk about those and then run the data. And we're really, really good at going into yeah. a company, seeing where all their data is, pulling that owl out, yeah. getting it to speak to one another so we can do the analysis yeah. and the data will not lie and it will tell you where those problems so are. So you're and harnessing how to solve them. Uh, information they already have, yes. but weren't doing anything with it and opening their eyes to all sorts of new insights. If you think about food in terms of taking the raw material of whatever comes from the farm, yeah. and they have a recipe for how to make that into something yeah. fabulous, yeah. we do that, but our raw material is that data that you have, so yeah. that's, that's our field, yeah. literally, and we will take that data out of your field of expertise, and we will work a recipe in our terminology and algorithm to help you get the perfect solution. And are you solution. getting an open door when you, when you visit companies? Are they open to this or are they yeah. very protective? a lot of the time. Now, I do think food in particular is interesting because there's a lot of secret sauce out there. Yes. That, that, that terminology does not come from nowhere. Yeah. So there's a lot of secret sauce out there. So obviously protecting the privacy of our, yeah. and the, 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 you know, obviously the, the privacy of our clients, our customers, secret recipes, that, yeah. that is sacrosanct. Yeah. But um, yeah, we do have an open door and we and we take that very, very yeah. responsible, so take that very seriously. we expect a transformation in sort of five, ten years of really how food is produced and, and, and the smart factories? I think if you look at the recent climate change reports, absolutely everything is talking yeah. about how we do things more sustainably, how we have less waste, whether that is food yeah. waste or energy waste. We do a lot in food uh, production, whether that's you know, if you think about how much water is yeah, used, yeah. how much water is consumed, how much heat and energy yeah. is generated in food production, there's a lot of heat recovery, water waste management yeah. systems that you can implement there that will drive down those costs and ultimately drive yeah. sustainability of our food chain. You've always had a strong interest in the digital space. And I was just looking at a report recently that basically said Ireland ranks about, I think it's seven or eight in our European average of, of embracing digital. In our personal lives, interesting, we're way up at the top. But in business, we're quite low at the bottom. And it's an interesting economy of how we've embraced digital privately, but not professionally. That is such an interesting point, Andrew. And, and one of the things that we have recognized is that um, if you think about the user experience when you pick up your phone, yeah. and the user experience even when you're using your, your iPads or your TV, just mm. even scroll mm. the channels. And then our user experience in enterprise solutions, mm. in 
people who are working at desks. Mm. Their user experience is something we've been honing for a long time. Yeah. User experience within a factory setting or within an industrial yeah. or infrastructural setting, not so good. Mm. So one of the things that Siemens takes very seriously again is focusing on that user experience and making sure that it meets, meets and matches the needs of employees now, but yeah. also in the future. And yeah. understanding those standards obviously need to be improved. Well, thanks for stopping by to say hello. Thank uh, you so much. Have a good talk. Great and nice talk. to see you again. Thank you very much.